everybody. I'm coming to you today from Woodstock, New York, where it's raining incessantly. I heard there's a hurricane down in Florida, and somehow or another, I think it came up to New York. What's happening? Pull her right in. We got Blue Wave Bob here with Debbie up on their trip up the East Coast. And we're gonna spend some time here looking around Woodstock, New York. It was just raining cats and dogs a few minutes ago and it luckily stopped. There's a little bit of blue sky. Hello, Bob. Am I looking at a TV screen or <laughs> just doing, a good man. friend? How's it going, brother? How was your trip up? It was great. I never knew you had long hair. Well, it's it's sort of pandemic hair. Uh, the last time I had a cut was, well, hello, how Debbie, are how are you? you? It is so good to see you in person. Very We're on, cool. by the way. It was pouring here a couple of minutes ago. You can see it's still crackling yeah, a little when bit. When you were but saying that, it was pouring on us yeah. at the time. I'm like, well, I'm glad to hear it. There's another batch around 10 o'clock supposed to pull in, so we've got a nice window of opportunity. Uh, We've got a, uh, a waterfall over there. There sure is. You can hear it from there. Yeah. We can go take a look yeah, at it for we'll sure. Check that out. It poured all night at our campground. Oh, did you catch the lightning show oh, last yeah. night? Yeah. Woohoo! I go to bed early and get up early. What a beautiful little town. I know. We love it. It's the pride of upstate New York. It's a bit on the touristy side. It's a bit of a wealthy community. So it's, yeah. you know, okay. you got a little bit of everything here. So. Oh, that's how <laughs> our town is. Yeah. Now across the street is Woodstock Waterfall Park. <laughs> but this is it. This is the park right here. The waterfall is right down there. I saw a little baby deer hanging out in here when I first got here this morning. Oh, we can go around the corner. That See, that's a hotel on the other side. Okay. And you can walk down the street and we can get a good view of the, uh, oh, yeah, the waterfall. Good. Everywhere you go in the Catskills these days, you'll find construction happening. It's a boom economy up there right now. Everyone's moving out of the city. They want to come upstate, get away from the noise, the pollution. So, now this is Waterfall Way. We are allowed to walk down here. This is all legit. I did this earlier. Well, I, I kind of never go out without my, my rain slicker, at least. Yeah, well, we have ponchos in the <laughs> Even if they're calling for sunny and blue sky around here, yeah, there's a good chance you're going to see some rain here. That's how I know. Although, look at the sun's actually breaking well, Isn't this a pretty little spot to walk through? I mean, if you like vintage clothes, this place looks fantastic, by the way. I would imagine things might be a bit damp right now. Debbie, this is where we might need to pick up something for this So I would imagine that was the tannery? That little building oh, on the left. Okay. okay. The one with the rust colored grid. Mm -hmm. That looks like it might have been the tannery. See how big the foundation is? Uh -huh. That's a clue, I guess. Very cool. And you were saying um, the heights came from... Kingston. Area? Kingston, New York was the port of the coal around here. All the farms would come downstream to Kingston to drop off their goods. And I guess on the way up, they brought hides to be tanned. Yeah, you know what? Farmer, it's okay, okay because we, we, we had our own permitting issues, like Woodstock, right? Yeah, Woodstock <laughs> had a permit. You know how that turned out? That they were supposed to have Woodstock and they had the permit issues. And they had to move to Gaspio yeah. because yeah. they didn't have permits for here? We yeah, kind of tied it in. The Woodstock <laughs> City Council, well, it seems like they didn't want it to happen, so they passed a new law saying you have to have a permit for 5,000, they're gathering the 5,000 people or more. So the organizers came and went to permit to go, now we're going to turn it down because we don't think that the uh, restroom facilities need to go. <laughs> so it's like they made this permit law and then turned them down on yeah, it. Yeah, they just did. And then... I think that's what it boils down to. Yeah. They were probably right. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I mean, place. really. And well. the way it turned out being that it was flooded with people. Oh, and it was, they thought maybe 50,000 people, but um, it ended up being half a million. Oh, Bob, that is so sweet. Did you just look at this? I'm overcome. Oh, you guys are just so sweet. Oh my God! Look at now this, everybody. Wait, wait, this is going to be a treasured piece of jewelry in my collection for the rest of my life. I promise yeah. you that. And once you get it on, you just grab a hold of these on each side and slip. pull it, and then it, yeah, it slips tighter on you. Oh, I'm afraid this is going to get over my big fat head. Oh, it did. All right. Oh my God. I feel like Chewbacca getting his. Yeah. his medal. <laughs> <laughs> This will never come off my neck. I, I can almost guarantee you that. I, I will keep this with me forever. Thank you. Yeah, you bet. Uh, thank you, you bet. very much. Oh, oh, Debbie, that was just oh, absolutely so beautiful. Thank yeah, you so much. I, I'm going to treasure this forever. That was fantastic. If you ever get out to Long Island, we've got some good shark fishing out of Montauk. 
by the way. And I'll be camping there next October? No, late September. It's the very end of the month. You're camping, man. You're a hardcore permanent camper. We've got some, well, the, the RV's softening me up a little bit. <laughs> I'm That's sorry to said. say. I thought there I got a shirt, my domesticated him a little bit. Um, I used to tent camp a lot. We used to do some boating. I'd get in the boat and drive the little island out in the middle of 10,000 islands, Everglades. Nice. Florida. You wouldn't see another person the whole time you're out there. And, uh, but it was hardcore too. It was hot. Rainy. Well, camping in Florida has its challenges, no doubt. Right. I mean, well, <laughs> but once we got the RV, oh, I'm done with this. And we'll be spending two weeks on the Atlantic Ocean at Nickerson Beach oh, cool. in Lido. Oh, After that, we're going to be at Croton Point for a week. And then, uh, of course, I got Hither Hills in Montauk in the, in the fall. And that's all I got so far, but that's a pretty busy schedule for me. I'm not the type to plan, but the RV kind of makes you have to plan. I saw on your um, toy hauler that you've got the queen size bed to slide out. Mm -hmm. And then you've got the back side where the bed goes up. Yep. That is, and I told Debbie, our next one, I love our trailer. I, play, I, I told we'll probably keep it until it's worth about $500. Then we might get rid of it. That's the only way to do it. When I do decide to get a new one, I'll probably get a toy hauler and take that back space and turn it into my office. It, nice. And it's a yeah. very, very comfortable place. Even at home, quite frankly, it's a nice little well place in the house. Right. Yeah. If you want to get away from the phone ringing and the kids and stuff, up down right. the stairs. That's, that's what I do now. I, I use my trailer at my office. If, see a candle shop, I don't see if, if any town's going to have a candle shop, this is going to be the one. Yeah, right. Candles and incense, I would imagine. Right. Uh, I can smell the candles from outside. I sure can. Me too. Eh? Woo! Let's get out of the storm. <laughs> We got out just in the time. Oh, it smells so beautiful in here. No drops of water on my lens. Oh, I like the little psychedelic wave here, Bob. This is cool. Starry Deck Heavens. This is so worth the trip. Did you guys get woken up? About midnight-ish? Yeah, midnight. Yeah. I was like, I woke up, I was like awake and I just kept seeing like lights flashing. It was amazing. And then I just like woke up until like 1.30, I was like, I was like, I've never seen it. I kind of like that one. Yeah. I'll probably get a shirt in here. Hello. All right. How you doing? It's a little wet out there today. It's a little wet out there. Hope you don't mind us stripping on your floor a little bit. These are nice. There's some great music in these stores everywhere. I well, we can always do like a singing in the rain kind of thing. Good spot. <laughs> hey. Hey. Oh, God. I can't catch a break today. <laughs> Luckily, I have a change of clothes in the truck. I'm going to be using them. That can be a rain, not that far away. Are you going to Bethel today or tomorrow? We were going to get um, it today. <laughs> <laughs> Check the weather map, you never know. The second half of the day, it could be beautiful. Yeah, it's not going to dampen our spirit, how's that? This is our turn, Tannery Brook Road. 
You better hurry before it turns back into a brook. <laughs> Oh, watch out for that cascade coming down. <laughs> oh, you want authentic Catskill weather? This is it. Take home a fistful of mud, you can say it was some wood stuff. Oh, there we are. Asshole. Oh, Bobby, you guys enjoy the rest of your journey. Good to see you. It's going to be man. fantastic. It's fantastic to see you. Good. You're sure you don't want it for the rest of the day? Thank you so much. <laughs>